Hey everyone, Happy New Year. And if anyone else is doing dry January, I'll raise my glass of dry Chardonnay to you. I was putting the Christmas decorations back in the attic this morning when I came across a Christmas present I meant to give the kids two weeks ago. It's a shame they'd have loved that puppy. Anyway, what's in the news? Bill Gates has got another scheme on the go to make life more unpleasant for everyone. This particular one is one in which he's going to be turning human waste into drinking water. And given his wealth, I assume that just means he's going to be buying whichever brewery it is that makes Foster's. There's also a new story about how the deputy leader of Hamas was killed in an explosion. Well, at least he died doing what he loved. Someone else who died here, Tom Wilkinson, star of The Full Monty, or as it's now known, The 80% Monty. I was looking to see if they're playing the song Hot Stuff, It's Cremation. And there's also headlines saying that the former head of Kids Company died. I thought Jeffrey Epstein was killed years ago. Someone who was great buddies with Jeffrey Epstein was Prince Andrew, who was in the news this week after the release of the anonymous names of people who visited the island. Supposedly he and Fergie were apparently thinking of remarrying, so let's see how that one goes now. Although either way, I'm guessing she's going to quickly discover that he's only after his money. Bill Clinton was frequently referenced in these documents, although it does beg the question of whether he should go to prison or whether it's a far harsher punishment to force him to live with Hillary for the rest of his life. I was eagerly waiting for him to give a vaguely sarcastic piece to camera explaining like in the 90s that I did not have relations with those girls on the island. Most curious though was the mention of Professor Stephen Hawking of all people, although I'm not even sure how that would really work. And anyway, could the girls not just copy the old Doctor Who and the Daleks idea of quote, going up some stairs? You say what you will about Davros. Him and his Daleks tried to murder billions of people and conquer the universe, but he had his limits and you never saw Davros near Jeffrey Epstein. Although the same sadly can't be said for other BBC TV personalities from the 1970s. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.